there are people who like to go to remote places and see beautiful things. And Kentucky has got beautiful places with cold water. Now, most diehard trout fishermen are willing to take a walk to go to a place that's really beautiful. And a lot of these mountain streams, they have to have that cold runoff. Trout like streams that are well aerated, where water is flowing and oxygenated. Anytime there's a riffle or the water goes across the riffle, it creates oxygen. And some of these mountain streams have, uh, have a lot of riffles and have a lot of oxygenated water, and it's cooler. So these are perfect places to stock trout. stocking fish in the East Fork of the Indian. How many fish did you start with this morning? 3,000. Now, a lot of people who trout fish down in this area, uh, around Natural Bridge, the Gorge area, they have to hike in to get some of these areas. Now, the same applies when they're actually stocking the fish. So, uh, department employees and some volunteers, where they would normally be hiking in with a fishing rod, had a backpack full of trout. It's one thing to take them out of a stream, but quite frankly, it's a lot more satisfying to put them in. We're gonna get out here in the middle of the stream All right. and let them go. So the first thing we've got to do is take this rubber band off, which is holding the air in. And then I'll have to get adjusted to some new uh, stuff to eat. Crayfish, darters. They've been in the water for a little while to get the temperature equalized so they don't get shocked. And now, we're just going to tilt the bag, let them swim out at their own pace so they don't get shocked too badly. There we go. We've got about 10 of them in there. Come on, fellas. Everybody's right side up. All right, there it is. You've released the fish. Now you know where they are. <laughs> well, <laughs> we know where they are today. They yeah. They, in they a gotta... couple of weeks, they'll be out in these holding pools. There's so many fishermen in Kentucky and in other states who actually travel down here to fish who enjoy the trout fishing experience. These are rainbow trout, but you do have brown trout, and there are some areas where you can catch a few brook trout, correct? Right. And today we stock Middle Fork of Red River, which is through the Natural Bridge State Park. Now, these trout don't reproduce in these streams, so it's a put-and-take fishery. We put them in, you take them out, and uh, that's pretty much a fishery that uh, is sustained by uh, the fisheries guys. It's kind of neat for some of these fishermen to be able to actually see the fish put in and then maybe come back later and then try to catch some of these fish. <laughs> 